Welcome to my channel on statistical analysis and last time we have looked at the data collection and representation that is how we collect data and how we represent them. So in this tutorial we are going to look at descriptive statistics that is the basic statistic calculations that you can do with the collected data. So there are two types of descriptive statistic measurements that is central tendencies and spread measurements. So we will look at them one by one in detail. So if you look at the central tendencies first there are three types of central tendencies that is mean, median and mode. And in that mean is the average value which can be used to represent the entire data set. You calculate it by collecting all the data and then getting the average of that. We will talk about that later in detail. And the next central tendency is the median. Median means if you arrange the data in order from in the increasing order or in the decreasing order, the middle value of the data set is the median. And mode is the value with the highest frequency. That means if you have a lot of data and when you arrange them in order, if you can find out one value which is having the highest number of occurrences or the highest frequency, that will be the mode for that data set. So these are the basic central tendency values that you are using. And then we have the spread measurements. So the reason for having central tendencies and spread measurements uh, is like this. Now in central tendencies, we are only having an idea about the middle of the data set. We don't know how far the data set is spreaded and also in order to identify the spread it or how much the data is spread it, we will have used the spread measurements. So there are several spread measurements that you are using. The most basic one is the range. That is the difference between the maximum value and the minimum value. So from that we can find out how far the data is spread it. And then uh, you have the quartiles and the interquartile range. Quartiles are something like this. You take the data set, arrange it in order, and you find out the one fourth value, that's the quartile one or Q1, and you find the three fourth value, that is the quartile three or the Q3. And for and the, this uh, median is the Q2 or the quartile two, that's the middle value, and the Q1 and Q3 are the quartiles that you are taking. So the difference between those two, that is Q3 minus Q1, is called the interquartile range or IQR. And the next measurement that you are using for spread measurement calculation is the standard deviation. That is the standard measurement of how much each data value is deviated from the mean. So in later tutorials, we will I like, I'll explain how standard deviation is calculated and what is the actual meaning of the standard deviation. And the last spread measurement calculation is the coefficient of variation that can be used to compare two data sets and see how much spread each one is. So from this we can find out which one is having uh, more, which one is more spread more compared to the other one. Okay, so these are the basic uh, statistical calculations or descriptive statistical calculations that we are going to do. In the next tutorial we will look at them one by one in detail with examples.